my name is Christy Cooper, and I'm Director of Clinical Pharmacy for Dose Murex, and we're excited to have you joining us today. And on behalf of our entire team, we just thank all of the healthcare workers that are on the phone today for all you've been doing for patient care. Just a couple of quick announcements. This webinar will be recorded and a link will be emailed afterwards. Uh, this will be sent to the email that you use to register for the webinar. We'll have all lines kept in listen only mode. We have actually 900 um, individuals that are, um, oh, sorry, I guess I'm not sharing my screen. Oh, there we go, Apolog apologize. Oh, here we go, we'll start over, yep. Um, and we have over 900 individuals that are registered for today's webinar, so um, we will have to keep all the lines in listen-only mode. Well, uh, you can see a handout of the slides available by clicking the document icon located on the right of your screen, and please use the questions feature to submit questions, and these will be answered during our Q&A. So we're going to go ahead and move into a quick poll because we want to just get a sense of who is on the line today. Um, and the question should be uh, populating on your screen here in just a second. So Britt, if you could bring that up. Okay, so um, you'll see on your screen here, we just have a question for you. We want to know how you're currently calculating vancomycin AUC. I know we have some folks on the phone today that are existing customers, but for those of you that are not currently using Bayesian dosing software, um, we'd just like to kind of see how, how you're calculating AUC, and I think it'll be helpful for our presenters to know as well. So um, we'll give it just maybe a couple uh, more seconds, and then we will look at the results. Okay. So it looks like we have a large uh, percentage of people that are currently evaluating the options. Um, and about a third of you on the phone are already using a Bayesian dosing platform. And it looks like we have a couple, a small percentage of you that are still using an online uh, two-point calculator or an Excel spreadsheet. So I think we've got a good sense of who's on the line today. So we can go ahead and close the poll. Okay, great, thanks so much. Um, so if you're not familiar with Dose Merex, just a little bit about uh, our company and our software. We actually have over 7,000 clinician users and um, they have used Dose Merex to calculate over 1.4 million medication doses. Uh, we currently have 10 people in 10 different countries utilizing our software and we have 42 drug models. So um, that's in five different therapeutic areas. Of course, today we'll be talking about vancomycin, but we also have, and we have a number of drug models that are available um, for neonate, pediatrics, and adult. And those are all listed on our website. Uh, we take data security very seriously. We're high trust certified, as well as HIPAA, um, ISO, and FDA compliant. And one of the uh, things that we always like to, to promote is the fact that we have customer experience people on call 24-7, 365 days a week. So if you message us through the website or through the chat, we'll respond to you within two minutes. And that's a real life human being that you'll be speaking with. There's a number of different ways that you can access Dose Mirax. Um, we have a web-based platform, and we also have a special partnership for small hospitals uh, with ASHP. We're integrated in Cerner and Epic, and we also are integrated with three different pharmacy surveillance systems, Century 7, Vigilance, and um, Illum Insight. Okay, so now on to the exciting part of our presentation. Uh, we're really excited to welcome two amazing clinical pharmacists today who will be presenting. Our first presenter is Dr. Shivani Patel, who's clinical pharmacy specialist of infectious disease at Memorial Hermann Southwest Hospital. And Dr. Patel is responsible for leading hospital-wide quality improvement and cost savings initiatives and co-leads several antimicrobial stewardship projects across the Memorial Hermann Health System located here in Houston, Texas. Uh, she received her Doctor of Pharmacy degree from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and completed a pharmacy practice residency at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. And today she will be walking us through the journey that her health system took in implementing Dose Mirax in their electronic health record. Uh, after her presentation, we will be joined by Dr. Dustin Orvin, and Dr. Orvin is a clinical pharmacy specialist in internal medicine at Candler Hospital, which is located in Savannah, Georgia. He has a number of clinical responsibilities in his institution, including serving as the health systems formulary liaison to the pharmacy and therapeutics committee. 
And today he will be discussing his health systems journey in implementing Dosmirex and has many good tips and lessons learned to share with us. He received his Doctor of Pharmacy degree from the University of Georgia College of Pharmacy and completed a pharmacy practice residency at St. Joseph Candler Health System. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to Dr. Shivani Patel.